Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Eastern Conference of the NBA Playoffs. It's Son of Beast along with Mifo, and back again is Silver Spoon. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me in here. I always have a yeah, fun time to see, to see you all. And now, I think there might be another way to get there. Hopefully you'll definitely enjoy it too. Uh, especially to you too, because we have the rematching tape. Cavs and Bucks. It's game two, and we're about to see who wins for the second game before game three and the off season of the post season of the NBA playoffs to be heading over at Cleveland for the Bucks to take the possession here. Right now the lead series has been already updated. It's 1-0 Bucks lead in for the first round. That is right. Because the Bucks really got a lot of momentum out there, they brought a great player, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Drew Holiday, and Chris Middleton. Of course, the Bobby Boards Jr. and the other guys here too. We're pretty sure that everything is turning out very good lately in that one. But hopefully the next one will be coming down in the chimney. Maybe the next one will be the Bucks with a 2-1 streak. Well, if, if so, we might see how this one turns out. I think there might be something special out there. We might see. It'll be you'll figure things out here, Centipede. Especially what I was saying here before. Let's get over to 5 serve dot forum to start the presentation of the NBA Playoffs. It's nice, beautiful lake here. Of course, we really like to see the amazing Milwaukee town. And yes, we're back here at the Pfizer Forum. It's game two of the Cavs and the Bucks. Of course, me and, and Mifo, along with Silver Spoon, and reporter Ali LaForce. Ali, all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Yes, they do. Always move along to Seattle to OKC. Thank you very much. And checking out the starting lineups, we have the key matchup of Giannis Antetokounmpo versus Laurie Markkinen. The other guys over here is definitely trying to make their way to hit them around the boards. Of course, they are really, really that strong. We like to see if the if the team of Bucks could score it again over the Cavs because you know sometimes one to another it really doesn't help it at all. I'm pretty sure too. We might see how this turned out. What a great block pass by Anna Kubo. Holiday right over to Holiday and it doesn't get there in time. Levert over to Okoro. Okoro stepping inside. The Cavs looking a chance to hit the tie-breaking run in their, in their in the second game. Right now, Okoro has got his first bucket. Okoro is not the only player that we have seen him before in front of the Cavs, but sometimes he played in the Timberwolves section that was here before. Now, you know, it gets things a little better. On it, right to Portis Jr. Driving up, and he won't take it here. Portis Jr. gets his first bucket. As for Holiday, with the assist. Holiday scouted really well. A neat run, just a great off pass tip. Rejected! It's Portis Jr. And on a Koopa! Shot is blocked, and they are turning around the other way. What a great play help from Portis Jr. What a nice hit. Great help. I like that. It's just even amazing how this turned out. I'm hoping there's another way to get things around, but you know, with others, they definitely get rejection. Ah, the Koopa scoring in the paint, and they have the lead up by two. Ah, the Koopa, watch out for the man. He knows he can handle it. And another one for Boris Jr., but he gets rejected away, as the first bucket turned out to be for the Cavs to pick up their start. 
not with Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley, he really need, need to know how he can get there fast. And now he gets there just in time. Allen right to Portis Jr. Last night it was a win against Chicago that played here for one and all. Yeah, they really did really good here. Sometimes the better than ever. They need to get there just the right timing in order for them to move it up. Here's a drive, Levert, and he will pick up the lead by two. Cleveland is picking up another pressure here. Attack on paint and inside a drive zone. Driving zone is not that quite easy, but you know this is what everyone was saying. You better hit the drive or else you will be mocked out of here if the players get rejection or some steal. Allen, bad screen here, as this will be a rebound to turn off for Anakupo. Anakupo receiving four points in the game. It's now 6-6 tie score. Now Levert on Allen. Trying to find help. Marketing on Anakupo. Just about two minutes here for the first quarter. Garland for three. He picked up a lead, and that will be 9-6 to six lead for the Cavs. Cavaliers picking up a good three of defense to offense, and now the three-pointer was given off to Garland. Now he knows it might be a better run than ever before. Fade shot, Holiday up for his three to two. Now he picks that one up, but never miss. Garland with the first three-pointer here. He will take the drive first. But now it's gone to Kupo, another rebound. Anakupo shows up in time because other players definitely don't want to knock him down. And because of him, he's alive. Holiday, three. Reverse it goes. It's Holiday with a two-pointer drive in. Drew Holiday using the uh, glass board for the ball to push the backboard in there. I'm pretty sure that gets things very good. Marking it on Anakupo. He goes in. Driving is good, and the defense breakdown puts the pressure on Anakupo. Anakupo really gotten better at that point, but he didn't really want this ankle breaking and to be broken. But now you know, he really wanted to do it again. Anakupo back to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Another great screen inside for Anakupo. Here are up to take it from trailing one. Trailing by one, you say? Yeah, I was I was gonna get that right. But now the change off switch is Garland. Garland has his first bucket for a two, but only has five points for his total right total shot. Allen for three. He ties it! And it's now 13-13 score for Bucks and Cavs in game two. What a way to find another solution here. Allen just got it off. Now he really needs to know when he can get better. Drive off loose for, for Levert. 10 seconds for the first period. Now for his junior. He finds Anakupo inside. Around marketed and it goes in there. Another two for Anakupo and it's broken up with the tie. No good on the half court and the end of the first quarter appears 15 to 13. A lot of show effort here. <laughs> a lot of grace and play out there in the moment. Be right back after this message. Uh, it's because my teammate trusts me, my team trusts me to make the right play. And, you know, lately, late uh, in the game, I just try to make the right play. That can be a pass, uh, that can be a shot. But that's my mindset down the stretch. We're set to back here for the second uh, quarter, ready to start. Now it's New Orleans that will be playing here for the second quarter of this game. And you guys with the tank, those players really have the average here to start off from the uh, first half to second half. What is the key here for those guys that they wanted to bring it in here? Most of all, I would say that Ana Kupo and the other players wanted to uh, watch their mans in here for two to three zone. But I have would, but I would able to to uh, take the uh, the upper hand of man to man uh, defense. Maybe that time it might be a little bit more better to keep an eye on them. And I guess that it is true, actually, 
And ultimately, after, uh, when there's uh, when there's never a uh, chance for for the players to get rehydrated, they really wanted to get to man to man better. And not reaching fouls, of course, because we know that would be a bad idea. Sometimes you'll have to find a sound to make the steal, and again, you will have to just go around the other way. After on a group of scoring shot after New Orleans assist, here's Rondo. Rondo grabs off to Stevens. Stevens hits the two, and it's Rondo with the assist. Rojan Rondo. After last season, uh, it turned out to be de difficult difficulty with the with the Clippers of his losing streak here against the Suns in the East of uh, the Western Conference Finals. He might be very hard to try to pick up a run, but we don't know what will be. What a nice look for Giannis Antetokounmpo to step their way in. And right now the Bucks are, are dominating the run again. Love with the screen. Now it goes right to Stevens. Stevens on Nora. Foul tipped and will keep the Cavs alive with the, with the possession. Now the new changes have been released. Anakumpo's checked out. Wesley Matthews and Serge Ibaka are checked in. Just a one more good look on the deflecting of the shot by Mobile One Block. Yeah, well, looks like the Portis Jr. does that one here. The moment they see his run, I'm thinking he might be doing things again. What a play. Abaka watching him, and he gets his first rebound here in this game. Miss here for uh, uh, Seti Osmond. Now Abaka, rolling off to Connaughton. Up and over to Matthews. Drives in, goes up, and he missed a shot. That will be Osmond's first rebound of the game. City Osman really has gotten quite better at it. And I think he might need to know that the players here, you know, uh, without Kyle Crawford or anybody, there might be one that wants to help things off just the right time. Love for three. And it out. He did make the three pointer in time. Cavs are looking very strong, and, but sadly, with the disappointment, they lost a three-pointer. They really can't pick it up. Nuora, right on the air player. Now Osmond against Matthews. Back pass off to Lopez. Fades inside, gets short, and caught up by Love. Love with another rebound. Kevin Love, you know, that's what the players really know is better. But minding my own time, I don't know about him, but he might get better. Now it's Nuora with the ball. Back to Ibaka. Rolls off to Matthews. Back to Nuora. Only a minute and a half to play in the first half of the period. And a great drive by Brooke Lopez. Timeout first taken by Cleveland. With a minute and 28 remaining in the first half of the game. 24-17 is your score. The Bucks may be adding another two-point strategy or three-point effort to take the two to none right over the Cavs. Well, I'm pretty sure we might be looking for a good amount of player inside, but I think that might be a little bit more better. Perhaps uh, you get the you get the fact idea. I really think that might be a good option. Just about anybody who really wants to take it. I do. You what? Uh, nah, I wouldn't complain. But if I was uh, needing to play on the guarding position, you know, I would be more more disoriented, uh, um, disarranging them. To just go right in them. That's all I had. Now the new change is being released here as Mobley will be checking in. For the Cavs, and all five players are checked out. Five players are checked in, except for except for uh, Wesley Matthews and Middle and Serge Ibaka. Coro right on the outside. He will take it in here, finding Markinen, and the first foul released is on the Baca. That'll be the first personal first team foul for Milwaukee Bucks. Markinen will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Markinen, no, he definitely did got one. But I thought the block was being rejected for Ibaka. 
but that was a little bit late. Markkanen hits the first free throw. The Cavs have been working their way on the run in regular season, but sometimes they would be bounded up to be losing the streak after playing against the other teams. I think there might be another way to get things around, but uh, if you have mind, well, I don't have to worry. Markkanen hits two free throws here. And we are down to the last minute remaining here in the first half of the game. Middleton right to Portis Jr. Now he goes right over to Matthews. Matthews, one is up. And it travels a call. No shot here for Wesley Matthews, as this would be a turnover on the Bucks. Yeah, you got to be careful with the travel violation. You, you can't just go right in there. You, you just got to watch out. For any travel call, because if you don't dribble, that means uh, that means you'll definitely get uh, get no dribbling points, and it'll be a travel on a call. Nobody around. Well, you're just gonna need to find somebody. Ibaka inside. Oh my goodness! There's a deflection by Levert, and he gets right into it. And a two-pointer bang. That will be Mobley. They're trying to work their way inside, trailing by three. Yeah, I guess that it looks like the Cavs really gotten better into it, but the Bucks may have more average than he had. Portis Jr. trying to pull around him. And again, Jr. up, and it's fouled by Evan Mobley. Their second team foul by Cavs. And that will be Portis Jr. heading to the free throw line, shooting two. Another free throw percentage to take the chance here for the Bucks over the Cavs on the second game of the night. Most of all, importantly, that we all know everything is turning out great, they might know that they need to get better. Well, sometimes a little better gets a little off angle, but the target, they really need to step it up. That first free throw is sent in there for Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis really got better. Hmm. My wish can definitely be his demand on his popularity. Hoping Bobby Portis can be the only one himself to uh, take the intents of this game. The six man or anybody. That second free throw shot is in. Bucks lead by five. The Lord with the ball. Just about five seconds for the regulation. And Levert will have it all alone. Levert's doing good. But I think there might be a good way to get into it. Fade off. Oh, he made it in there. And we're going to need to take a look at the official review. Oh, boy. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Alan. We might need to go over again. Let's see what the official said. My average at this uh, point, it looks like he had his hand in there, so he did push it off in time. So with that, I think we're going to count him to see if it goes in there. Sometimes you're going to get that shot in there before the uh, the shot clock or game clock expiring for the first half. They might need to go for it with the picking roll on the call. Let's see what the officials have to say before the first half close. And they do. So they have already added up with a three-pointer. Not just a two, but a three-pointer in the average lane. That's a difficult call. You know it gets things better? It's everybody. And the first half is closed right now. Let's just grab a quick break and be back for the second half. All the fans really love it. Let's have a recap look of the Bucks and Cavs in the second game. Great effort here after the replaying finish. Let's see how they do in for this game.
and the statistics are updated on the game. That to do it, let's head back to Fight Sim Forum for the start of the second half. And we welcome you back here at Fiserv.forum as we're about to start the third quarter with a close call in between two points or three points by Allen with a buzz beater. And of course, they had officially counted it was a three point ball in a regulation of the game. Taking a look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, he has already received 12 points, two rebounds, and just a one fantastic block. I think the assist also helps him work out on his way into an advantage. What do you guys think? Yeah, Giannis Antetokounmpo is doing really well out there. <laughs> yeah, turn that just imagining. And Antetokounmpo, he just got better at that point. I know he has already made a two. But I think the defenseman really knows that it's very hard to keep him right in the paint. But I don't know if they will have the advantage to take the, uh, the lead off ahead if they're going to try to make their another run on the attack. Here's Ayana Kumpo, only scored 14 points in the uh, regulation of the playoff game in the second game. But the other games was uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo putting up a number two to one for the first game. Allen just got better. He is just on a roll off and the field goals updated with 70% for Bucks and Cavs 50. Field goal average just did got quite better about that amendment. I'm not sure what to say, but it's very hard. In between the effort of the nevertheless, nevertheless, I get the facts. They really did that. Porter Shooter, nobody around, and that will go in there. Another two-pointer release. Yeah, he's on a three-point line, so that definitely did count for the two-point. But that was his strength that he did make. Rejected by Porter Jr. And that will be number three. Three blocks in the row. <laughs> My goodness. I would have been seeing this, this coming right. Holiday in the drive, and it will count through with another two point release. Okora received this foul, and another team foul pulled up on Cleveland. Pretty sure enough, they're all going to start uh, going wild out there. What a great play try game from Drew Holiday. Now Drew Holiday will be stepping at the free throw line, shooting one. Just about 3.13 remaining in the third period of the game. For the second game. Holiday receives the free throw and makes it in there. Well done for Drew Holiday. They were also called Jay Homa. I don't know, I have not heard of this name, but what, what is up with that? I don't know, maybe there, there might be some uh, good names out there to go for the nickname. It's very not hard, it's very not difficult. After C.D. Osmond with the, with the free point made, here's uh, Bilton. He will go right back to Arnacupo. Now Holiday with the ball. Overhead pass to Bilton. He goes in, just a quick shot. Alana Kupo gets it back in there. It's another two point for Alana Kupo. And they are just extending their lead by 20. By, I'm sorry, it was it was 18. But now it brings back to Darius Garland, trailing by 10. Darius Garland knows he can definitely get things better. I know this is what everybody likes. But most of all, I wouldn't have to pay for him. Whoa! Arne Kupo goes with one hand and he just goes right in there. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness! That one hand dunk was just like a freaking, like a Greek freak. What a drive for Arne Kupo. Again, Arne Kupo around Osmond. What a play! And Arne Kupo lets the fan go with a uh, bang wild. 
timeout is being released on Cleveland with a minute and 45. And we will catch things on the break. What a show performance run for Giannis. Be back after this. Now the new changes have been released here as Kevin Love with the with the changeup on defense to offense. The new changeup has been uh, not been changed here with a better angle. Now the foul has been released on Ayana Kumpo, the Greek freak. It will be another team foul for Milwaukee Bucks. And now it will be Evan Mobley heading to the free throw line to shoot two. Evan Mobley, he's gotten better at that point. But Giannis got him a little too much aggressive. He's not getting really in, into the uh, good position out there. It's getting complicated in between each man. I hope this doesn't usually turn out to be him. But it might be not to be me anyway. I don't even even uh, play on the court. Mobley hits the first free throw. Evan Mobley, his only percentage has turned out to be just him. But the other keys for his game, what is his average uh, turning out to be just for a regular season? after putting up a win against the other team of Portland Trail Blazers. Well, it's pretty obviously very questioning. Because Evan Mobley really knows his secret, he got better at it. But sometimes he kind of gives up for himself and he wants to take a, take a rest here on the bench. He really wants his team to try to make his way into the debut of the game. Now they all know they want to get into a, into a tight matchup by Portland Trail Blazers. Without Damian Lillard. As the score comes in for Drew Holiday, here's Garland. Garland on Connaughton. Screen on Love, gets away. Knocked loose. Osmond for three. Rebounded by Anna Kumpo. Another miss by Cleveland. Cleveland's are missing too many threes out there. You can't get easy on them. Middleton right over to Anna, Anna Kumpo. Wide open three, Middleton. Oh yeah, you bet that one. Middleton receiving his first three-pointer for the Milwaukee Bucks. And they are averaging up another lead off with the extension. Garland on Connaughton. Goes right to Stevens. Inside, Osmond for three. He got it. Another one, three-pointer releases as this one is taken down with a number number three point lead to change into those players. Now Holiday. You will find Milton. That goes back to Holiday. He goes with a three second violation call on Brooke Lopez. And that does cause cause a turnover. And just amazing defensive player that turned out to be Bobby Porter by Mobile One Block. Bonus news, I can definitely tell him is the best defenseman player of the game. What a great D. And a block knows he wants to stay out of their side. Garland with the ball. 15 seconds to the third period. Garland looking to attack. Another miss by Cleveland. On a Kupo right to Holiday. Goes right back to Connaughton. And on a Kumpo, Milton again. No, he will not be able to make it. That ends the third quarter. Only a great average score for Bucks to make their win if they could do it for the second time in a row. And we'll be right back after this game of the message. Fourth quarter is coming up after that intermission. And now it's time to present the State Bar Assist of the game. Bucks average has their ability. I know one thing that did turn out to be improving me. It was Drew Holiday after was picking up here for Allen. I'm pretty sure those players are getting their better at the great position they played. But not for him tonight. He does it better. He's great. Stronger than ever. I know that and that Allen really needs to know needs to know just great. I think that's gonna be for him if he wants to take it off. Now the fourth quarter starts here as the first foul is on Abaka. It'll be second personal, another team foul released on the Bucks. 
Just about 4.51 to start for the fourth quarter. And Marketing will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw went in, and a breakdown that course was on the Bucks that only turned out to be just 20 to 39. Yeah, I know this is it's very that tough when the when the players on the ever on the ever opponent team really knows the struggle. But for me, it's not very important when you're keeping an eye on the man. You know it's going to get uh, a little bit worse. Marking it, it's two free throws, and that will be averaging up again. The Bucks are still in ahead as they are lead up by, by tw uh, 21. Now goes back to Middleton. I'm sorry, lead by 12. Abaka up, shot's good! Now number two pointer for Abaka, and they lead up by 14. The Rabbits, the American Senate Beast, they know they have one. The better spirit they have. Of course they do. Levert right to Marketing. Double man covered. And it's Love in the way for three. Rebounded. And it's taken off by Ibaka. Ibaka has received as a number two points uh, effort here, and he has third rebound of the game. 15 for the Bucks and 8 for the Cavs. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure that the Bucks will have more advantage for the rebounds. Now for long, it's Portis Jr. making a number two. Portis Jr. really gotten better at the start. I think he is the only one he can handle it. Making it through, just like he did. Levert missing the two. Another rebound by Portis Jr. And for this season, tonight was 16. 46.7 uh, percentage of the rebounding was just a lot of uh, great effort here in the second game. Yeah, just true. You know about the does work out here, right? Uh, what is it then? The average work here that you need to know is here how hard you play. That's uh, that's what I always think of. Yep. <laughs> now I, that is a that's a lot of the work that you need. Trying to work her way around. The Cavs looking for another open man offense. Rondo right to Levert. With no one around, three pointer sends it inside. And that's another three point average for the Cavaliers, as this will be trailing by 15. Not sure what they could definitely do, but the moment that my, uh, my temptation gets things a little bit hard, out of the way. Not too much to go for. Ibaka right to Allen. In the cut, and he made it number two. They are on the roll. They're just putting another extension in the lead here for the game. Exactly right. The timeout has been released on Cleveland with 2.16 left to play in the fourth quarter. The Bucks are going out there strong, and it looks like they might be averaging their way to the second round if they can do it again. Pretty sure they're definitely, uh, they're definitely like a, like a big old banger. Not really, uh, not really comfortable with all the position they want, but they really do a lot of, a lot of average here, son of beasts. They know they got a great pressure on the start. Right now, let's just go back with, uh, with the three to two zone, as I will make some new changes here, just a little bit, just, just a second. Okay, and then now I want to like uh, just run in transition. We don't want to like make it neutral because we will be getting it too much lately. Now let's present your New Balance player of the game. All of the player goes to this front, and he made it all through. Darius Garland. Garland know they had to get there. I'm pretty sure he's, uh, his book of average is putting a lot of out of offensive. And look, my strategy ability can be a little bit tough. Only Darius Garland can do it much, much better here if he can play it for the third game. 
Rejected away, and another turnover by Cleveland. Holiday, right to Gordis Jr. Anakubo to Al Allen. Allen, switching transition to Milton. Two minutes to go for the fourth period in the second half. Holiday, slightly late on the bound, and the rebound is picked up on LeBrook. Lecoro in the wing. Up to Garland. Back to Levert. Levert inside. Jonas with his ejection. And it's Mobley with the rebound, and he has that one back in there. What a great block. <laughs> on the Kupo, he really got better. And another great shot for on the Kupo. It's 22 points for Giannis, and they are just pulling up a great dominant run. They know they've got the hustle in. The honest got better. Levert slammed the dunk through, and they are just averaging up another slam dunk motion. Not sure who else, but that might be only two. Oh, the honest did it again! Wow! I don't believe this one. The honest is like keeping their eyes on the prime. Damn! Well, the flying unicorn. I think that the I think the fans can definitely know him, the unicorn man. But he's still the Greek freak. Defensive free seconds violation called on board at Portis Jr. And they will have the technical free throw gear for the Cavs coming up. Darius Garland at the line for one. That's a hiss. The yes for, for Garland as the last changeup will be occurring for the Cavs and the Bucks. Goodwin, Garland moves the shooting guard as Davis will be checking in there as well. And another big change off with the offense. Look, inside, Windler. Back to Goodwin, up for three, and he will take it from here. Good win with the first three-pointer in the game of the fourth quarter, but won't be enough to take it from here. Drew Holiday, right to Portis Jr. Back off to Holiday. Now he goes right back to Portis Jr. Allen with the ball. Drive in. Fouls called on Garland. That will be another foul here on the Cats. And another two free throw up for Allen. The Milwaukee Bucks are receiving another free throw range in from another angle. And Island, of course, he definitely does that well. We're really sure that he, if, if uh, Allen can try to uh, keep the pressure alive, then you might know he could be the better play of the game in, uh, in the best highlights that he has done. Now that might be a good idea. Allen hits the first free throw, and the last changeup will be on the Bucks. Now the new changeup here for Cavs. Garland will be checked out. Windler moves over to shooting guard, and Stevens checked back in. Last change for the Bucks: Wesley Matthews, George Hill, Allen, and Nora. And Allen hits the second free throw. 63 to 48 is your score. The Bucks could win the second streak for the playoff spot in Milwaukee. Good win. Trying to block that one and a block pass. Miss fires for the Cavs. Now it will be Portis Jr. Back to Allen. Back to Portis Jr. Right over to Matthews. Here's Matthews. And that's a bit soft target angle. Allen right back to Hill. Portis Jr. right to Allen. He wants to give it to Matthews. Can he do it? Oh, he got fouled by Stevens. And another, and another team foul releases on Cleveland. Now, I haven't seen uh, Wesley Matthews shooting his uh, good timing. Did he make a shot? It's a, it's a no. It's a no. I, I told you this one here. It's always a no. He never made that shot. But he was going to count for two, but it was called a travel, but he made a little mistake. 
Major mistake, just a bit short. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Okay. I didn't really quite notice him, but now, now, uh, you were right about that. Matthews hits the first free throw. And Bobby Portis is checked out. As the last change goes here, with three players gone, three players in. Tuntus on a Cupro, and Jivon, and another Carter. Who is this? Jivon Carter or something? Yeah. I don't know if it is, but uh, you you might get the thought. Wow. Wesley Matthews got a two free throws down on the board. He knows his stuff. And that will end the second game. It's Milwaukee, the second win in the playoff session. 65 to 48. And they advance 2-0 in the series. A lot of play hustling here. I, I think all the players are really enjoying it so far. But in game three, it will be go big here in Cleveland, Ohio. Let's have a look at the sideline here as we will close them off. You said these games start to matter more as you come down the stretch. Tell me more about that. Listen, I'm down here, trying to play good basketball, trying to play together, and trying to get better. You know, we just try to get in that play on shape and uh, just get better. Championship always on your mind. Thanks, Giannis. Thank you, Allie. With all this game, turns out to be just like that before. The Bucks really wanted to just go for the win and come back in the uh, game. I'm pretty sure we'd like to see that one. Most of all, and the, problem, and the problem might be solved. Now let's present your three three-star players of the game in the NBA, starting off with you, Silver Spoon. You have your thoughts. Sure, thank you very much, yeah. Number three, we're going to take a look back here, and with the, just a bad or tough policeman out there was Karis LeVert. Nine points, one rebounds, and just only 13 minutes on the court. I'm not... I um, positively remember this one for the first game because I wasn't here yet. But nothing else to say about the Carousel Bert. He gets better. He's doing really well. Let's have me phone number two. Number two with the ever end. I'm going to need to go with that out call. Grayson Allen, 12 points. His domination effort has been putting out a great game on his drive. And with the official review of the three-pointer is called. It was overturned to be a two-pointer, but now it's three, just to make it ahead. Now it's for you, Son of Beast. You're releasing call for the first star of the game. The first star. We always know that much more that everybody knows him. The new balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. 24 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. But now... The New Balance player of the game is only Darius Garland, with only just him. But the best play here on, on the court was Giannis Antetokounmpo. Amazing D, amazing offense, two dunks, just got better. He's doing great. And that's it for the game. Thank you so much, Silver Spoon, for joining with us. Hope you can come back here for the next game, for second of the second game or the third game. And you too, anyway. I'll see you all the next time. Take care, there, Silver Spoon. And with me and me phone gone, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs of 2K Sports of NBA 2K22. We'd like to thank you all for watching and stick around for the next game for Pelicans and Suns happening here on Saturday. That will be on Son of Beast to be released here on the next part. So, if you like to see the other games that we have done, you can check out the other games on the calling card right over there, or not, but do or not. But, well, there might be some suggestions if you would like to see one, so calling card is right there if you missed it, right on the board. And with that being said, we'll see you all in the next game. Peace out, everyone, for us a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. Great night here in Milwaukee of fearing a deer for the Bucks, along with the number one to be Cleveland, Ohio. Until next time.